Chelsea Kazmierski doesn't post photos of her one-year-old son Teddy on social media often. Facebook started when I was in college, when I was a freshman in college. But when she does, she uses Instagram, where she restricts followers to close family and friends. I think I might have almost 800 friends on Facebook, and I don't remember, you know, how I know them or where I know them from. Many parents post pictures of their children on social media, some before they're out of the womb. I'm guilty. Hopefully he won't, uh, won't get mad at us when he's old enough to know what it is. For kids of Generation Z, some are old enough now, and they want to say in how they appear on social media. My oldest, who is now 13, has, is starting to build her own social media presence and ha has some strong opinions sometimes about things that I have posted in the past. Mom of four, Katie Meyer, says she talks with her kids about setting boundaries. I think it's important that I respect that and that we keep talking about it because um, I have to model appropriate, safe social media behavior. Social media is really, um, is, can't be defined as either harmful or helpful, it's just how you use it. Dory Hacker is a clinical social worker at Maine Behavioral Healthcare. She says sharing can be beneficial for family members to be able to keep up or follow a child's growth. But as they get older, you know, some of those personal choices and um, silly or goofy or potentially embarrassing activities can catch up with them. He's almost ready to walk, but it will be a while before Teddy can scroll. Until then, his loved ones can follow a small part of his journey online. We have family all up and down the East Coast, so it was a good way for us to kind of stay in touch with them. I was so excited we got that moment of Teddy taking those few couple steps on yeah. camera. <laughs> those little moments, you know, they're sweet. You got to celebrate them. Absolutely.